99.9 KEKB, Mackenzie Dodge in studio with another Got Kids segment. I'm here with Melissa from the Macy County Department of Human Services, and we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, Child Care Assistance Program. Now, what we've done here is we've teamed up with the Partnership for Children and Families to create a resource-rich environment for our children and families here on the Western Slope. And I know it's back to school time, so a lot of people looking to go back to school, maybe uh, looking for child care for their kids. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a teen and I'm uh, I've got a child and I've got to go back to school here in August, what do I do, Melissa? You can come into the Mesa County Workforce Center and apply for the Colorado Child Care Assistance Program. We take walk-in applications Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, except for just uh, Wednesdays from 8 to noon, and apply for child care assistance. Uh, who, who all would use this? We are an income-based program, and we provide child care assistance for working parents, teen parents, parents who are job-seeking, and parents who are attending college or a training program. That's awesome. So you you just mentioned how and where do I apply once again? The Mesa County Workforce Center. We take walk-in applications and an interview is required Monday through Friday from 8 to 4. And uh, maybe I need to bring some paperwork with me. Can I call you to find out what that is ahead of time? Absolutely. You can call the Workforce Center at 248-0871 and we would need um, state issued birth certificates for your children and verification of your work activity and then there is an application that you can fill out at the Workforce Center. Now tell me about these after school programs that we were talking about a little bit earlier. So most of the extended hours programs at the District 51 schools are CCAP eligible providers which oh, nice. means that um, we can assist with daycare costs. Oh, that's awesome. So if my child is, is, is going to be enrolled in an after in one of the after school programs at the school, most of the schools accept the CCAP program as well. That is correct. Awesome. So again, so, the parents would need to apply and then the school has to be one of our providers. All right, Melissa from the Mesa County Department of Human Services. If you want some more information, I'm going to have all of this online, kekbfm.com and can make sure you come on back next week at 940 for another Got Kids segment with the Partnership for Children and Families here at 99.9 KEKB.